Hey guys, Zach Gardner here with Vapor Honing Technologies, and tonight we are going to experiment with something that we typically don't do a lot of. We're going to do a dry blast versus wet blast comparison. You guys will see a time lapse video, and you guys will also see the different finishes and consistency, also time that it takes, efficiency of the overall blasting process, etc. So. If you guys notice, I have already dry blasted this half. I put it into a scat blast system, just one of your typical basic dry blast cabinets. And what I did was I taped off this K24 valve cover and we hit this side with 220 aluminum oxide. And what I'm gonna do in the wet blast system is I'm gonna hit this side with the same exact medium. So 220 aluminum oxide in one of our wet blast systems. So take a sneak peek at the inside, kind of seeing the finish overall. You guys will see some small snippets of this. You'll get to see this thing throughout the duration, also before and after. So definitely stay tuned and we will show you the finished result. Alright guys, so we're back after doing the wet blast process on this side. So pardon all the oil on my hands, it's going to be getting all over this nice wet blasted finish also as well as the dry blasted side. Any oil that is on my hands is going to get on this thing and could potentially hurt any paint prep. So always use acetone or some type of alcohol to make sure the surface is wiped clean. But what I want to show you, this was the tape line. I try to do my best to get half of this valve cover. So this being the wet blasted side, this being the dry blasted side. So you can really see the consistency differences between the two different types of abrasive blasting. So dry blast, it's kind of splotchy, not to mention, I honestly don't know, like down to the time, it felt like wet blasting was faster because as soon as I touch a certain spot, it's gone, the paint's gone. That red spray paint that was on the bottom of this valve cover where it would seep to the head, that as soon as I touched it, it was gone. As far as the factory paint, it took it off really good. The dry blast took it off very well also, but the wet blast gave me a heck of a lot more consistent finish. And not to mention, it, it personally just feels better. So you see every bit of oil coming off my finger right there. But, uh, Taking a look at the inside, personally, nobody's gonna be painting in here. I just blasted it just as a showcase for you folks. This is the other side. And then the top of the valve cover. And we're gonna take some pictures. We're gonna take some B-roll videos showing you the differences between both the dry blast and the wet blast, but the point of this video is to show you the overall finish that you're going to get using any type of paint prep abrasive media because obviously I want to paint this valve cover. So this is it folks. Definitely like us on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, follow and also subscribe on YouTube and we appreciate you watching this great content.